Hello, 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 everybody. Pretzel Road here, and welcome back to another episode of the Cleanup Crew Let's Play series. This is episode uh, 18, I believe. And, um, you know, of course, as tends to happen, we did level up our park again uh, while I was off camera, uh, because that, that just seems to be how leveling up works. So, uh, what we unlocked from that is this swinging boat ride, uh, the House of Horrors, and bumper cars. Now, uh, those are all very cool things, and I definitely want to build those at some point. But we have been, um, looking quite a bit at this, uh, quite a bit at this area. So, we're going to, uh, take a little break from that. Uh, what I will say is I have been, or I had been doing a little bit of work off camera yesterday to, uh, sort of optimize our public transport. So, we currently have, I believe, four ferries, uh, six buses, seven buses, I think, actually, on this line, and six over here in the city. Uh, so that's sort of where we're at right now. I decided that that should be roughly enough to, um sustain mostly full rides most of the time. Uh, other than that, it's been a long time since we haven't uh, done anything over, uh, since we've been uh, working over on this side of the lake. Um, hmm, what should we do, what should we do? I think that what I want to do is, oh, another thing I had done uh, a while back off camera, and I just never got around to uh, saying anything about it. I did fix traffic around here, so I sped up, uh, mostly. I sped up the, uh, oh, we're at level four now. All right, I guess maybe we do have to, uh, maybe we do have to take a look at that. But just quickly before we get started, I uh, did upgrade this all to uh, highways. And that just speeds up uh, all of the movement around here a little bit. And I also added... Uh, this thing right here. So I noticed that most of our traffic was going basically from here all the way around to here. So I just made a shortcut for them. Uh, it's only one way so we don't create any like traffic problems or anything. And it just allows us to uh, decongest this, um, this traffic circle slash uh, I guess it's kind of a hybrid traffic circle and roundabout. Um, but yeah, anyway, it looks like the, uh, the game is trying to tell me that we just really need to be uh, investing in our park over here. So I guess that's what we will be doing today. Hmm. So, to, um, just, just for a little uh, start to this, I, I would like to uh, get this Ferris wheel and roller coaster over along this area, so kind of towards the back, um, because I want to create this sort of like, you know, when you're looking over from here uh, across the city, you know, those are going to be the big prominent things that you see, and it'll also um, mean that people are forced to like, you know, walk by, walk through the whole park to get to those. So, um, with that out of the way, um, the result is I'm going to be trying to put these sorts of other things towards the back. And I'm going to make the bigger rides, I think, over sort of, um, I'm making the bigger rides over behind the small ones. Uh, what is this? House of Horrors. Yeah, let's do that over here. And we can also build the uh, swinging boat. We'll, we'll do that back. Hmm. Doesn't the pendulum kind of make the uh, swinging boat useless? I don't know. Feels like it does. We'll just put that there. Uh, for those who are interested. In, in fact, actually, no, you know what, because the, uh, the swinging boat is, it's a boat, so it should go near the water, shouldn't it? Uh, I guess that, that really is the only way that uh, it makes sense to do this. 
I was thinking maybe we could do a plaza back here, but uh, this swinging boat would be fine. We can maybe put like some plazas over along the side. In fact, let's do that right now before we forget. Yeah, so we'll create these two little plazas over here. Uh, we can do paths around them. Like this, and then we'll do like this, and we'll do like this, and then we'll do like that. There we go. So now we should have, I think, a nice way for people to sort of walk around these uh, plazas. At some point, as this back area becomes more populated, what we can do is we can begin to add more of these, uh, or where are they? We can begin to add more uh, game booths and cafes and restrooms and souvenir shops. Uh, all of the souvenir shops. All right. Yeah, so it's definitely becoming more prominent, I think. The, um, the, whole, the whole park is definitely, especially with this, uh, this pendulum ride here, sort of, but in particular this uh, Tower of Terror or whatever it is, Tower of Horrors maybe. Um, can't imagine they would call it Tower of Terror. I'm pretty sure that would be like some Disney copyright infringement there. Um, but this thing right here is now making this park incredibly prominent from across the water, which is good. That's what we want. Hopefully the, uh, the Ferris wheel in particular, I think, should add to that effect. In fact, how far are we from level five? Oh, kind of a ways off. And we, we also need more entertainment. Ooh, okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just work on that today. Yeah, you know, I said I wasn't going to be working on this. Let, let's work on this. Um, hmm. So, if we want to uh, add entertainment, I guess the, uh, the first logical step would be to uh, spam game, bo game booths. Um, like this. Because these are... Although their, their entire idea is to uh, be entertaining. So hopefully they should uh, get that entertainment bonus that we need. The entertainment boost. And we'll do one like he right here. We can add another one over here. And another one over here. Alright. And hmm. I guess now now that we've got this uh, little formation, it doesn't really make sense not to put paths here just because uh, the way that these um, connect up. They feel like they need paths um, near them to really fully complete the effect, I feel like. So there we go. We've got like a nice uh, front entrance and then we've got the uh, secondary um, and sort of larger park that will be near the larger attractions as well. So um, I guess with, uh, with great park size comes great uh, souvenir shop quantities. So we can do a couple of souvenir shops, but those are restrooms, not souvenir shops. Dang it. Um, we do we do need souvenir shops though. So uh, souvenir shops are more important than uh, than restrooms. I'm not actually sure if these uh, provide us with any money. I kind of doubt it, but it's a uh, it's a cool addition nonetheless. Um, definitely makes me feel like the. Um, all-powerful mayor that I am not. Uh, so we'll build another one of these maybe over here. Or uh, that's the restroom, sorry. And we can build a uh, cafe, which is that one, right here. There we go. So I think that now we've got definitely a much better developed um, 
it still is feeling kind of sparse. So I'll definitely be uh, adding in more things later on. But for now, I think that is probably all we really have time for today. Maybe we can just, uh, well, let's just do a little bit of, uh, since we've started a new recording anyway, so we'll just uh, check how these uh, fairies are filling up. Uh, what's most important to me is how full they are going to the park. You know, if people die at the park or something, who cares? But um, what's important is that we are drawing in enough tourists. Okay. Hmm. So it looks like these are these are definitely handling a lot of people, but maybe not quite enough for four fairies. Um, we'll leave it there for now. I think our park is uh, fairly profitable still. Uh, I guess not now, but, uh, it has overall been, uh, fairly high. In fact, you know what? Let's, let's raise this, uh, this up to 20. Um, the park is definitely a, uh, fairly profitable endeavor. Maybe not as profitable as I would like. Um, but hopefully that should help to pay for some of the other services surrounding it that aren't bringing in quite as much income uh, for every dollar that we spend on a, uh, on terminals and <clears throat> vehicles and all of that. So that, I think, is basically all we really have for today. <coughs> <coughs> if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like because it really helps out the channel. Uh, I think it helps with, like, you know, uh, YouTube recommending it and stuff. Uh, so smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Pull a Graham Stephan there. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, and notifications on, of course. Share it with other people who you think might be interested. Uh, if you've got any friends or family members or whatever who like this sort of content, please consider sharing it with them so that the word gets out, and until next time, have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>